Nature's Wi-Fi sucks. Maybe there's a squirrel family around here with broadband. If only I can guess their password. We love nuts, 69. Dingoes ate our babies, 13. Too soon. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. Who's next? Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to hog the viewfinder. Ooh, jackpot. Commence makeout session in three, two, one. Nailed it. Damn, they are really going at it. Oh, honey, I think we used the vibrating bed for too long. I'm totally seeing double. <laughs> Rachel? Hey, are you all right? What are we doing? Excuse me? Last I checked, you're supposed to be Chloe Price. Yet we've been ditching now for hours, and we haven't even gotten wasted yet. That's got to be against some school ditching rule. Uh, hell yeah. The honor student wants to show the school delinquent how to party? Be my guest. How gracious of you. They have a bottle of wine. Let's steal it. Uh, okay. Or we could go try to find a liquor store instead. No. You shouldn't bring alcohol to a public park if you're not willing to share it with everybody, right? And fuck it. I just want to take something that's not mine. All right. I'm going in. Try to keep up. Um, can we help you? <sighs> oh my god! Holy shit! Talk about committing to a performance. Oh, thank god! Please, this girl is in trouble. Go get help. I need to get these two to focus on Rachel so I can swipe the wine. What are you waiting for? Go! Don't look at me. Look at Baywatch over here. Aw, uh, I don't remember how to do CPR. Wah. It's time to nut up or shut up. Watch out. I'm going to check her pulse. That's on her neck, right? I still think you should go get help. There's a ranger station on the other side of the park. Good point. We'll keep watch while you go. Uh, uh, look at all the time we've wasted already. This woman needs mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. Stat. Uh, no. Yep. Definitely needs mouth-to-mouth. -mouth. Okay. Okay. You can do this. I can't do it. Pathetic. Look, he's clearly useless. This woman needs help from someone who actually knows what they're doing. Hey, look at me. Do you want to be locked out of the car of life forever? Or are you ready to break in there and seize the keys to your potential? Oh my god. You're right. Wow, I'm all better now. You saved my life from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Yeah, good work, everyone. Peace out. That was incredible. You're a hero. Huh, I guess I am.
Here, you earn this. Thanks. <laughs> I could use a drink after trying to keep up with you. I am excessively sober right now. Right. Okay. Guess we're leaving now. Whoa. Hey, check this out. What? Great. It's a pile of trash. Uh, yeah. An awesome pile of trash. Let's explore. You have fun, Chloe. I'm gonna go sit down. Rachel's been acting kind of standoffish ever since we left the park. What's her deal? I've heard that actors are moody, but... Wow, Rachel. I'm not moody. I just need some space. Is that alright with you? Okay. Actually... No. I thought we were having a great day together. Why are you acting like this all of a sudden? I'm not acting like anything. I just want to be left alone right now. <laughs> yeah, I, I get it. I know I'm not the easiest person to be around. I don't exactly have tons of experience with the whole friendship thing. Not everything revolves around you, Chloe. I didn't say it did. I'm just saying I understand. No, you really don't. Fuck! <laughs> oh. uh. Okay, I still have no idea what's going on with Rachel, but... Apparently, she gets smashy when she's angry. I can work with that. Score. Here. If you really want to smash something, this should do the trick. I asked you to leave me alone. Are you kidding me? I, I know you're the school princess and all, with the DA daddy and the perfect grades and all the perfect little Victoria chases kissing your perfect ass, but seriously, fuck you. Great, I'm leaving. See you around, Chloe. You can't leave! Watch me. Rachel, wait, don't go. Why not? 
Because, because I don't want to ruin this the way I ruin everything else in my life. And what is this exactly? A, a real friendship. Oh. Is that all? I mean, I, I don't, I don't know. Yet. But I want to find out. I thought Chloe Price doesn't need friends. I, I thought so too, before today. I, I guess it's easier to be alone if you decide it's a choice. I'm sorry for whatever I did or didn't do. Today was the best day I've had since, since my dad died. And I screwed it up somehow. Like I screw everything up, because I'm a fucking screw up. Chloe, please. I don't want to be alone anymore. I'm sorry, Chloe. I can't say why, and I know it isn't fair. But I can't be your friend right now. Can't or don't want to. Does it matter? I'm really sorry. Goodbye, Chloe. Fuck. This. Place. If you want to rip a family apart from the inside, it's important to bring the proper tools. Fuck you, David. Ah! I've never understood your hard on for cameras, Max. You took a million pictures of us, and not one of them showed that you were going to leave when I needed you most. Fuck cameras. Fake and hollow. Who else do I know who fits that description? Yeah! Fuck off, Rachel. Dad.
Why are you crying, sweetheart? Because you're not real. <laughs> I'm not. What is going on? What's past is prologue and shit. Kiddo, look on the bright side, would ya? What bright side? You made a new friend today. I guess I did that. Gotta say, that was some fight. <laughs> she nearly took your head off. What do you care? Sorry, sweetheart. I guess I'm getting into your personal business. I don't feel drunk. Sometimes, people need you, though. Even when they don't admit it. You came. I'm glad. Hey. I couldn't let the day end with whatever this afternoon was. Chloe, I want to talk to you about something, but I don't know how to talk about this. You don't have to tell me anything you don't want to. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? The ones who were making out? That was my dad. Oh. Alright. 
And that woman was definitely not my mom. Oh, the worst part is... I'm not surprised. I felt like my dad's been lying about something for a while. I just... I didn't know what it was. So when I saw he got a text from an unknown number asking him to meet, I thought I, thought I could catch him or something. I'm so sorry, Rachel. I don't... I don't know what to say. Neither do I. Chloe, I love my dad. I love him. And I never want to see his fucking face again. When my dad died, I was so mad at him. For months, I felt wrong because half the time I thought of him, I wanted to scream. And the other half, I forgot. Forgot that anything had changed. It's silly, but I've carried this photo around with me for years. It's from Mount Hood. My dad took me hiking there when I was 10 and it started raining and I fell and broke my arm three miles from the car. I remember screaming like I was gonna die, but my dad, he carried me down the mountain. I still remember the smell of his coat and how calm he was and the sound of his voice and... He was just so strong, you know? I, I felt safe. You trusted him? Completely. Here. Chloe, I owe you an apology. Don't... Don't worry about it. No, I mean it. Whatever's going on between us, it's intense and new and awesome. And maybe you just see it as a friendship. I don't know. But I put you on the spot and I could have handled that better. I'm sorry. Rachel, after the day you've had, it's okay. I, I mean it. We have all the time in the world to figure out whatever this is. I just want you to know I'm lucky that you were with me today. You're a badass, Chloe Price. What? Remember that biker asshole who wouldn't let you into the mill? You talked your way right past him. You saw that? And those skeevy douchebags who followed you upstairs? Two against one. But you wouldn't take any shit from them. I'd be dead if you hadn't thrown that bottle. You inspired me. And what about Drew? When he was picking on Nathan? You got right in his face and called him out. That was pretty sweet, actually. See? You're the real thing, Chloe. I don't know anyone like you. Plus, you came along with me, no questions asked. Well, I don't really need a good reason to ditch school. I guess tomorrow there'll be hell to pay. My mom might skip grounding and just go straight to the death penalty. And my dad will definitely punish me with... Fuck your dad. Fuck him. What I wouldn't give to leave this place and never look back. What's stopping us? Us? Are you serious? There's nothing keeping me here. Not anymore. So, if I came to you tomorrow and told you to pack your bags... I'm serious. Let's do it, Chloe. Let's leave this place forever. 
Okay. Can I borrow your lighter? Thank you. Come on. 